I can't draw. Oh, I don't have an artistic bone in my body. I wish I was as talented as you. Enough, people. Enough. Okay? Right, done. So, I get comments all the time, which are really, really lovely, and I get absolutely chuffed to bits when people say, I really like a piece of your artwork. I mean, what person wouldn't love to be told that someone else likes their artwork? That just makes my heart go kaboom, and I love it. And I, and I cannot thank you enough, and thank you. But what I really get upset about is when people say, I wish I was as talented as you. Because I don't think, first, number one, I don't think I'm talented. I just enjoy doing what I'm doing. And people say, oh, I would love to draw. I, oh, I can't draw, but I would love to be able to draw. Oh, I wish I could do that. I wish I could do this. Oh, I'm not very artistic. All these kind of things. I hear it all the time. And... I want to, it's a little bit of a bugbear of mine and I'm going to get on my soapbox and I want to unlock the mysteries of being an artist or a creator or someone who can draw. I want to share with you guys the secrets that all artists haven't told you, okay? And I'm sorry about this artists, but I'm going to do it, okay? Okay. Number one, the key to being able to draw the key to being able to do art, or to be creative, or to be a talented artist, the first thing you've got to do is to do it. It's as simple as that, okay? Practice, and then when you've done practicing, you practice a bit more, and then when you've done practicing that, you practice a bit more, and so on, and so on, and so on. In the same way that you didn't just walk out the door one day, get in the driver's seat of the car, start driving, drive to the drive, the the, the test centre, take your test and pass. You didn't do that, you had to take driving lessons, you had to practice. You know, people who play the guitar, they didn't just pick it up and were able to play XYZ song, they had to practice and learn it. And it's the same with art, it's a it's practice. Um, you know, a lot of what I create is sucky. It's sucky, 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 it's crap. But I keep practicing. Most of the things that I create, I don't like. But I keep practicing. I keep going back to it and doing it and doing it and doing it. And that, my friends, is the key. The, the one of the two keys. The first key is to just keep doing it. So it sucks. So it's sucky. Do it again. 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 And that's one of the, the things you find that certain artists will only do one type of thing. Like, for example, I draw a lot of bunnies. I paint a lot of bunnies. I doodle a lot of bunnies. And that's, I keep going, bunnies are my thing for a start, but I keep going at it because I keep practicing and I keep developing my technique and doing new ones and finding new ways to be able to draw bunnies. And it's a practice thing, you've got to practice in order to be able to do it. And you, so you can't, you sit down and you can't draw a face or all you can do is a stick person. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And you have to work through some of that frustration and just keep going. But enjoy the process. Try and, you know, I want to do this. I'm going to keep doing it. Get in the zone. Practice, practice, practice. And that is the number one thing. Art and creativity is like a muscle, okay? It's like going to the gym. The more you create, the more that you do something creative, the more creative you will become. It's that's 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 it that is the key the more you do the more creative you'll become and the more you want to create and that's it as soon as you stop creating you have a bit of a slump and then you can't be bothered and you know it's that's it's that it's the rolling thing keep practicing keep creating keep practicing keep creating and you will become good you will start creating art that you like you'll start creating art that you love and you'll keep practicing even the most established artists who sell stuff Keep practicing, keep learning new techniques. That's why a lot of people continue doing classes, you know. I went, to, you know, I've been backwards and forwards to college to do several art courses over my life. I've done a, a diploma in art. I did a degree in photography and graphic design. 
and you know you just keep going back I've done various online courses I've done night classes in art and you just keep going everyone has a different technique and something else new to bring to the table so you know you just got to keep at it keep practicing keep at it and don't give up don't please don't give up just keep on going that is my number one unlock the secrets of becoming an artist or creative person is practice 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 number two the second secret and the last secret that i'm going to tell you about how to be talented or how to be an artist how to be a creative goes hand in hand with the practice and that is know your media okay so if you are brand new to art pick one media that you like the look of or feel like you might get in fancy experimenting and stick with it for a while please just trust me on that stick to it for a while please so choose either watercolor or acrylics or oil pastels or whatever it is pick one thing and practice with that one medium okay one of the things that i get a little bit <coughs> about is i see a lot of mixed media stuff around a lot and mixed media is great i will not deny that i like to throw various media together on a page don't get me wrong i love to do that however I have been creating art for a long, long time. As a child, I was only ever used oil pastels. That is all I ever used as a child was oil pastels. And then I moved on to chalk pastels. And it's only over time that I've kind of added different mediums into my supply stash. And um, even now, I don't have, you know, there's still so much I don't have, you know, but you don't need it. So I see a lot of people, they, you know, they, they spend a lot of money and they go out and they buy Dilutions ink sprays and they'll buy stamps and stencils and they'll buy this medium and that medium and whatever. Yeah, it's fun and it's great, but stick with one medium for now. For now, I'm not saying indefinitely, I'm saying for now, stick with one medium and learn that medium. Learn how it works use it on different paper, work out how to blend with those mediums, how to mix with that medium, work out how you use the medium, you know, do you, uh, do you use a lot of dry brush brushing, do you need it to be wet, keep practicing with that one medium and you will become prolific, prolif prolific, prolific, you'll become really, really good at it when you start adding new media new mediums in all the time you are diluting your expertise because each medium works in a different way and needs to be used in a different way there are so many different watercolor techniques out there it's unbelievable and you know watercolour can be a tricky medium sometimes I was for a long long time I was put off of watercolor but that was because I didn't think I could use it because every time I'd used watercolour I got it wrong basically so you know just pick one medium and learn it learn it learn it learn it and practice over and over again really get to grips with your media and learn everything that media does how it reacts with water how it reacts with paper how it reacts with each other how do you mix it all of that kind of stuff and then when you're happy with that you can start adding something else in um, for example, this little guy, I saw a picture of um, a hedgehog illustration on Pinterest, I really liked it. This little guy was inspired by that. He is um, acrylics with um, oil pastels. You know, so once you've mastered your acrylics and you know how your acrylics work, you know how you're blending, you can then do stuff like add your oil pastels in, you know, his cheeks are oil pastels, um, his belly is oil pastels, most of his boots are oil pastels. I know how to blend with oil pastels, okay? I know how they work, I know how they work on top of acrylic, and it's only because of practice that I know how my media work together, and I therefore know how I can get the results that I want, how I can get those, you know, highlights and lowlights in, you know, the definition of the cheeks. 
I know how the media works. I know how I can blend it together to get that result. By no means is this a is this a perfect piece or am I like, wow, this is fantastic. I'm gonna I'm gonna display that. I'm not saying that, but I know how the media works and how how I can control the media to get the results I want to get. So that's it. Those are the two little secrets of being creative, being talented. I can't draw. I wish I was as talented as you. Oh, well, I don't have an artistic bone in my body. I don't want to hear any more of that, people. I just want to see you practicing. I'm going to be like a drill sergeant. I want to see you practicing, okay? Every day, even if it's just a little doodle, a doodle a day while you're on the telephone. Believe me, every time you're on the telephone, if you have a little piece of paper with you and a pen and you start doodling, you're going to get really good at whatever it is you're doodling. And that's, that is the secret. Practice, practice, practice and learn your medium before you start adding more to it. And that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I'll get off my soapbox. Um, but everyone can draw. Everyone. Everyone can paint. Everyone can be creative. All you've got to do is practice, learn, practice and learn. Okay? Are we cool? Are we cool? Bye!